Something amazing will be unveiled on February 10th, 2025. But before we show you what it is, please watch this video. The, 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 the vehicle it uses what we call the microsonic energy device. The microsonic energy device, it is the, the device that I personally invented in 2009, which harnesses radio frequencies, converted it into energy. As you know, radio frequencies, they are measured in nano volts, meaning to say they are less than a volt, they are just in like nothing, but we find a way of harnessing it through the the, the creation of uh, the seventy percent of the components in the microsonic image, which I tell me we have designed. So those are the components that 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 enable uh, the radio frequency to be transferred into pure, useful energy, and this is the first time in the world. The West has always believed and pushed this narrative that Africans have nothing to offer the world. However, aside from Africa's abundant resources, which have developed the Western world, the continent is blessed with innovative minds and talents. In a time when the effects of climate change are becoming more prominent and the world is moving towards clean energy, a 44-year-old Zimbabwe inventor has taken the internet by storm with his creation. His invention has the potential of not just paving the path for Africa to lead technological innovation, but also disrupting the electric vehicle industry. But what is his story and what does it mean for the African continent? Let's find out. A few days ago, the world woke up to the unveiling of a powerful invention that can change everything. This invention was created by Maxwell Chikumbutso, a 44-year-old Zimbabwe self-taught engineer. Born in 1970 in Zimbabwe, Maxwell grew up in the high-density suburb of Buharari. Unfortunately, financial constraints made him drop out of school at the age of 14. However, even though Maxwell dropped out of school, he was blessed with an innate brilliance and curiosity for engineering. From a young age, Maxwell displayed an extraordinary ability to invent and build complex devices using scrap materials. In the late 1990s, he built several innovative projects including a radio transmitter, digital navigator, and turbine engine. According to the 44-year-old, his abilities are self-taught and his inventions are divinely inspired. In 2009, Maxwell shifted his innovative focus to green energy. According to him, he believed that power could be harnessed from the air that we breathe. This belief led him to create the very first revolutionary microsonic energy technology. It is the first of its kind in the world. According to him, the technology functions by means of capturing and converting radio waves to usable energy. This concept has, however, baffled the scientific community, and some have even dismissed it as impossible. But Maxwell's inventions using the microsonic energy speak for themselves. One such invention is the self-powered television. During the unveiling, Maxwell revealed that the television does not require any external power and that it uses the microsonic energy system. This system converts radio frequencies into usable electricity, meaning that the television can run indefinitely without relying on cords, cables, or batteries. This is remarkable. Imagine if they are produced on a large scale. Millions of people, especially in remote areas with no access to electricity, would be able to enjoy entertainment and educational content. In addition to this, People in urban areas will be able to save significantly on electricity bills as traditional TVs are notorious energy suckers. Uh, this is our self-powered TV that we have uh, designed. The first in the world to have such kind of a technology where a television is powered with a radio frequency. So as you can see right now, I'm powering this television. Uh, so this is the first uh, television in the world that uses self power to say. It is all in one. You don't need to put it on electricity or on solar panel or anything. As it is, it is a complete solution. Another invention made using the microsonic technology is the green power off-grid machine. This groundbreaking innovation uses the microsonic principle to produce power. According to Maxwell, the green power off-grid machine can generate electricity without solar panels or traditional electric grids. This machine has the capacity to supply hundreds of households with electricity if fully developed. With this machine, Africa's energy crisis could be eliminated as cheap and clean energy will be provided for all. Now, the most amazing invention made by Maxwell using microsonic technology 
is the self-powered electric car called the Kaiseyeth. According to Maxwell, the vehicle was developed in partnership with Chinese automaker Kai. The car boasts several remarkable features that set it apart from conventional electric vehicles. One such feature is its unlimited driving range. Unlike traditional electric cars that rely on charging stations with limited mileage, the Kai Seyeth continuously powers itself using Maxwell's revolutionary microsonic technology. This technology eliminates the range anxiety that plagues owners of electric vehicles and ensures that long-distance travel is a possibility. But beyond its self-sustaining power system, the Kai Seyeth is also built for performance. It can reach a top speed of 220 km per hour, placing it in direct competition with high-performance electric vehicles. This is remarkable because the Kai Seyeth is not just about saving the planet, but also about enjoying the thrill of driving. The Kai Seyeth also features a home supply capability similar to Tesla's Powerwall technology. This means that the car can act as a backup power source for households whenever there is a power outage. It can also be used as a regular supplement to the energy needs of the home. Beyond this, the most significant advantage of the Kai Seyeth is its environmental friendliness. The car doesn't require the use of fuel, thus it emits zero carbon emissions thereby contributing to clean air. It also reduces the reliance on fossil fuels and helps to mitigate the effects of climate change. Now Maxwell Chikambuzo unveiled his inventions during a meeting with the president of Zimbabwe, Emerson Mnangagwa, at the State House. However, while many have embraced Maxwell's invention, his inventions have been criticized by Zimbabweans. Maxwell's inventions have come under scrutiny, and he has been labeled a bogus inventor, with many accusing him of lying to the president and faking his inventions. A few days after his meeting with the president, Maxwell's inventions sparked skepticism, with many questioning whether he truly invented the car and if it was genuinely powered by radio waves. According to some Zimbabweans, research conducted using reverse image search revealed that the Kai Seyeth is actually a Kai model manufactured in Japan. It has now been said that Maxwell purchased an electric vehicle and a Browy portable power station, then presenting them to President Mnangagwa at State House while falsely claiming them as his own presented. A Zimbabwe journalist, Hopewell Chinono labeled Chikumbutso a bogus inventor, accusing him of deceiving President Mnangagwa by claiming to have invented a hypersonic energy device that converts radio frequencies into electricity. Hopewell shared his findings on social media, where he revealed that a reverse image search showed the device was the same as one sold on Amazon for 109 US dollars. He wrote, On the left is the bogus inventor lying to Manangagwa, claiming that he invented this device in 2009 and calling it a hypersonic energy device that harnesses radio frequencies and converts them into electricity. I just did a reverse image search of the device. It is the same one being sold for 109 US dollars on Amazon. Hopewell went on to accuse Chikumbuzo of misleading President Mangagwa with false claims about the invention. He further revealed that the device was actually created by a company called Browie and launched on August 9, 2023. Expressing his disappointment, he also criticized Zimbabwe's state security service. He said, it is just a portable power station with a built-in solar panel for efficient energy conversion, making it suitable for outdoor activities and emergency preparedness. What shocks me is that Zimbabwe has a state security service that should be preventing the president from being exposed to such embarrassing moments. The world is not just laughing at Menangagwa, it is laughing at our country. Since the Zimbabwe journalist's assertions, people have been divided on whether or not to believe the claims of the 44-year-old inventor Maxwell Chikumbutso. Some Zimbabweans, such as Wat Mandi, said, It's highly possible it's not fake. A couple of scientists came to Zim a few years back to test his generators. They were surprised. The problem is his devices defy the laws of physics, but they liked it. In fact, there is a whole community of free energy scientists. Really interesting stuff. However, others like Matagre said, I want to challenge Maxwell Chikumbutso working with all curious engineers and media people to drive his vehicle that uses perpetual energy and doesn't need charging from Mutar to Victoria Falls and back to prove his devious and preposterous claims. I will pay the costs. It's okay to fool others, but he must not drag the president into his mischief. 
With all this, we are left wondering whether or not Maxwell Chikumbutso's inventions are true. However, there is one green energy production that we are sure is true. We are talking about the first locally made Burkina Bay electric vehicle. Manufactured by the Burkina Bay car company ETLU, the electric vehicle was designed entirely by Burkina Bay engineers. The project was launched in January 2025 and was created using local resources and expertise. The creation showcases the nation's growing industrial and technological capabilities. The vehicle boasts an impressive range of 330 kilometers after just a 30-minute charge, as reported by the car manufacturer. The first two models of the brand are called Native and Sahel. This record-breaking feat not only highlights the nation's growing industrial and technological capabilities, but also presents exciting possibilities for its citizens. With a charging time of 30 minutes and covering a distance of 330 kilometers, the car will revolutionize transport in the country. The launch of the Aitua EV coincides with optimistic forecasts from industry analysts regarding the growth of Africa's electric vehicle market. According to research firm Mordor Intelligence, the EV market was valued at approximately $11.9 billion in 2021 and is projected to surge to $21.3 billion by 2027. This significant growth trajectory indicates a robust compounded annual growth rate of 10.2% during the forecast period. And, it underscores the increasing demand for electric vehicles across the continent. In the context of Burkina Faso, the car manufacturer emphasizes that the successful introduction of the EV serves as a testament to the fact that innovation is not solely the domain of major global powers. Instead, it can emerge, flourish, and make a significant impact from the heart of the Sahel region in Africa. Now, just like any invention, the newly produced Burkina Bay electric vehicle brings with it numerous opportunities to the population of Burkina Faso. From the production to the sales, maintenance, and refilling stations, the impact of this production will create thousands of jobs across the country. Importantly, there will be career advancement which will be opened up by skills in the auto industry. Interestingly, others will benefit from supporting industries such as renewable energy and technology. However, besides this, the development and successful launch of the vehicle will inspire the next generation of entrepreneurs and innovators in Burkina Faso and beyond. Burkinabe engineers and scientists, particularly the youth, now have a local success story to replicate, which proves that anything is attainable with vision and determination. Itaua's electric car is more than just a vehicle. Indeed, it is a statement of Burkina Faso's commitment to sustainability. By popularizing electric cars, Burkina Faso is taking strategic steps in reducing its carbon footprint. In a time when the world is rapidly becoming susceptible to climate change, this innovation is a model for other nations, particularly in Africa, to adopt green technologies. There cannot be disregarded the economic repercussions of such success. By reducing the reliance on foreign cars and petroleum, Burkina Faso will be saving large volumes of foreign exchange. Also. Once the car gains more popularity, it can be a valuable export item, boosting the nation's economy and making a mark in the world's trade. With the launch of the vehicle, there is no doubt that Burkina Faso is adequately poised to dictate its destiny. With projects as ambitious as Itawa's electric car, Burkina Faso is not just redefining its future, but also inspiring other countries to believe in innovation and self-sufficiency. Burkina Faso's own homegrown electric car is living proof of what vision, determination, and solidarity can accomplish. Itawa's innovation is not merely a technological feat, but a beacon of hope and progress for the nation as a whole. With opportunities on the rise and sustainability taking center stage, Burkina Faso's future has never looked brighter. So, while it's not exactly clear if the Zimbabwean inventor's claims are true, the innovation in Burkina Faso is a testament to the fact that Africans are also innovators and are capable of contributing to technological innovations around the world. But what do you think about Maxwell's Chikambutso inventions? Are his claims true? Let us know in the comments section below. Don't forget to like this video, drop a comment, and share this video.